guys, Stephanie Stallworth. I'm so excited. I got a brand new television show starting on Preach the Word Worldwide Network Television. It's called The Flow. It's going to be Monday mornings, 6.30 a.m. Start your work week off with me, Stephanie Stallworth, and join The Flow. We're going to be having some inspirational time, a little motivation, uplifting praising and worshiping in the flow. So I look forward to seeing you on Preach the Word Worldwide Network Television, online at PreachTheWordNetworkTV.com. Find us on all social media at The Flow Network, The Flow Television Network, or The Flow Television. Looking forward to seeing you. Follow us. We'll follow you back. We'll see you Monday mornings, 6.30 a.m. in The Flow. Hey y'all, Stephanie Stallworth, ATL Traffic Lady. Happy Monday, Flo Fam. How you doing today? You know, it's time to start off another week of victorious living in the flow. God is just so good to us. You know, He supplies all of our needs according to His riches and glory through Christ Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. I look to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and faint not. Good morning, you guys. I like to start my day and now with you start our week with some of my favorite scripture because this is, you know, it's an interactive flow. So I want you to be part of this. Email me your favorite Bible verses so we can start to flow each Monday morning with you and your favorite go-tos that have kept you going over the years, over the months, over the weeks, over the days, the last few hours, minutes, or even just a few seconds ago you thought of something. Boom. Oh yeah, I love that. That one. Pull out your device. Email me your favorite scripture right now. Send it to me at theflowtelevision at gmail.com. That's theflowtelevision at gmail.com. I'd be so happy to share them on the air with the rest of the Flow family right here every Monday morning in the Flow.
time to go into the kitchen for Cooking in the Flow with Chef Troy B, your personal chef. I hope you're hungry. Welcome to Cooking in the Flow. I'm your personal chef, Chef Troy B, and welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. So today we got a nice, easy recipe. We're going to make some spicy shrimp pasta. And it's going to be fantastic. A little quick hitter, something that you can do for lunch or for, uh, for dinner. And um, it's going to taste fantastic. Let's start by casting the vision. And my vision is to strengthen, renew, and restore interpersonal relationships through the sharing of meals and the joy of cooking. So now that we have the vision cast, let's check out our ingredients. So of course we have some nice shrimp, peeled in the vein. I have some, uh, some Italian crushed red peppers, a little bit of tomato paste, some sliced garlic, some parsley for garnish. I have uh, some, uh, probably like a half a can of diced tomatoes. We're gonna use a pepper, I got some salt, and that's it. And today the pasta we're gonna use is paprika deli. My Italian is horrible, so forgive me. But it's a ribbon pasta, it's an egg uh, noodle pasta, which will give it a nice little texture and really absorb the sauce real nice. So, so let's get started. You know how we get started, we gotta get our pan hot. We're gonna saute our shrimp real quick. And we're gonna put that over a nice kind of medium to medium high heat. We're gonna get that hot. We're gonna use some olive oil today. So you know how we do sauteing. We get the pan hot, then we get the oil hot. So we want a nice little bit. This is gonna be part of the sauce, the sauce base. So you can tell that your oil is getting hot when it starts to shimmer. And if you can look in there, it's starting to kind of shimmer and ripple a little bit. So be careful if your salmon, if your uh, shrimp is a little, a little hot, it may splatter a little bit. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that sizzle. Now, the thing I like about cooking seafood is that it's got a built-in thermometer, so you can literally watch the heat transfer and cook it. I like cooking uh, seafood also because. It's very healthy, it's very nice, uh, and it's easy to cook. It's easy to mess up too, so you just have to take your time and don't overcook it. So I already dropped my pasta. So we're gonna cook our shrimp about halfway and then we're gonna build our sauce from that. So nice, take your time. Remember what I say, when you look professional, shake that skillet. So I'm just going to give it a quick flip. So we're going to finish cooking while we're building our sauce. Put that last one. Now come on in. I have my son Tyrus on the camera for me today. We keep this to the family fit. Now what I'm going to do is tilt this just a little bit so you get that little pool of oil. Then I'm gonna add my garlic in there, and that's gonna kind of flavor my oil. And then I'll grab a spoon, add in, and you can make this as hot as you want. A little bit of that sauce there. Now if your pan looks a little dry, don't be afraid, just add a little bit more oil. Which I'm gonna do. That smells good already. Add a little bit of oil. Just gonna pop this flat because oil and water don't mix, don't get excited. So then I'm gonna add in my tomato, my tomato paste. And it's probably about a tablespoon. So start this flat and then get that. And then we're gonna add in that, our tomato. Let that simmer. <coughs> Excuse me. A little pepper or not. We're gonna add some black pepper. As much as you like. Always salt and pepper to taste. Sauce is smelling good. You're not making a mess, you're not cooking. So we got that going. 
go put the salt. See, now we got this rich and luscious salt. We got the sauce. We got the olive oil. We got the tomatoes starting to break down. It's flavored with the peppers and the garlic. And it's just looking really nice. And that's what you want, a little rich sauce. Now I'm gonna tell you a little shrimp, a little trick. Now you're probably saying that's not a lot of sauce there. Italians don't use a lot of sauce. They don't, they don't drown their sauce in a lot of, uh, they don't drown their pasta in a lot of, uh, in a lot of sauce. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take a little bit of our pasta water, probably like two ounces, and you wanna add that in there like that. Now what that starch will do is help also thicken it and give it a little velvetness. And then we taste, always taste your food, see what, see what you need to add. Mm. That is magical. Yeah, that's delicious. So we got that bubble in the way. I'm gonna check my pasta. So we take that. Pop that in there like that. And turn off the heat. I know that you're saying I can't do that flip chef. It's okay. That's why you get your tongs. And if you can't do that, you don't feel comfortable doing that, but don't feel like making a mess. It's okay. You just take that like that. Give it an opportunity to and possibly absorb all that sauce that you made, that you built. And this is nothing but a big flavor bomb. A little bit of parsley over the top. Fresh cut. And there you have it. It's easy. You can do this. That's why I'm here to show you. If I can do it, you can do it. Hey, welcome to Cooking in the Flow. Thank you for coming today. My name is Chef Troy B, and I'm your personal chef. And my reward is an empty plate. Y'all have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you next week with another delicious menu life. Hey, y'all, that's Chef Troy B., your personal chef, cooking in the flow. I'm so excited. Welcome to our team, Chef Troy B. You can find him on social media at Chef underscore Troy B. That's Chef underscore Troy B. Or check his website, IGotTheDishes.biz. That's IGotTheDishes.biz. Don't forget to like and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Chef Troy B., welcome on board. We're so happy to have you in the Flow Fam. We'll see you next week with your brand new cooking segment. Thanks for joining us, Chef Troy B. We're cooking in the Flow.
Hey, you know what? We're all interactive. We're all in this thing together. Let's help get each other through this global pandemic. We're going to continue to build each other up for now and also after we get over it and move on to our greater blessings that are coming in our post-COVID-19 lives. Because yes, there is such a thing as post-pandemic. There is. So I have hope. It's coming. Believe that. And it's going to be glorious. Yes. Let's speak it into existence. We pray that it's over sooner rather than later, of course. But we know everything's on God's time, not ours. So remember, God's going to do his part. But we have to do our part, too. Stephanie Stallworth. I want to thank you for joining me in the flow this morning. I am praying for you and believing God for an amazing week ahead. Now, you know, I can't leave you without offering you the good news of Jesus and his salvation. The best decision I've ever made in my entire life is my decision to follow Christ and establish a personal relationship with him for myself. You can do the same thing right now. He's not waiting for you to be perfect or for to have everything all together. And, the, you know, the Bible says, for all have sinned, everybody, all of us, everybody in the church all started out with making a decision. So, you know, I don't want you to feel like you can't be a Christian, too, or that things that you do or have done or that have happened to you or that are going on in your life will disqualify you from a life of salvation in Christ. None of that even matters. So God says, come as you are, and if you take one step, He's going to take two. So you're not here by coincidence. You know that. So hearing me say this even right now is no coincidence. So come on, make a decision for the Lord today. Choose Jesus. And if you're anything like me, it will be the best decision you've ever made in your entire life. I love you so much. And more importantly, God loves you. Thanks for joining me in the flow. Here's that good news I was talking about. We are often told, God loves you. But what does that really mean? That some impersonal force, galaxies away, may consider you from time to time? Or that you are a single drop in a vast ocean of humanity and God cares for all of it? There are billions of lives, billions of stories, can we really believe he has great destinies planned for all of them? Surely the ruler of the universe has more important affairs than to notice the needs of one singular individual. But hear this, nothing could be further from the truth. When God says, I love you, it means that he crafted every detail of your being. Your every feature is His perfect design. His mind perceives your worries and your thoughts. His heart is broken by your pain. You are His child, created in His image. Your value exceeds all the riches of earth. Your worth extends beyond the stars. And though you may be unaware, He's carefully constructing the events of your life to build his kingdom. If you are willing, he can and will achieve wonders through your hands. It is the deepest passion, the most meaningful promise. It is your security, your hope, and your future. It is the truth beyond doubt. God loves you. Yes, God loves you. Accept God in your heart today as your Lord and personal Savior. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God that he suffered and died on the cross to save us from our sins. He rose from the dead and he sitteth at the 
the right hand of God the Father Almighty. It's so easy and such a wonderful change of life for you. And just get yourself a personal relationship with our Lord and Savior. So if you just say, Jesus, I believe you're the Son of God and that you died on the cross to save us from our sins and you rose again from the dead. And I want you to be my Lord and Savior. I believe that you've been saved. And go ahead and find yourself a wonderful church and a place to fellowship. Of course, we're in COVID-19. That makes it more difficult. But everyone's streaming online. So there's lots of ways to interact with some folks out there. Check them out on their social media, their Facebook pages. Churches have all of those. And it's just a nice way to connect with some folks while we're stuck here in the quarantine times. Won't you take the Lord's hand today? Work from home? Who can work from home? Me. And you can too. Just go to whocanworkfromhome.me. That's whocanworkfromhome.me. Times are tough during this global pandemic. Many employers are allowing workers to work from home. Some will continue that trend. And some won't. You can work from home right now through the COVID-19 crisis and continue when conditions improve. I mean, most of us are used to being home now. Even if you are not. Starting or continuing to work from home would be super convenient especially now that most of our kids are going to school virtually. Working for yourself from home would also be a great help if you are at home caring for a loved one. Become a virtual call center representative with a Christ-centered company. Log on to who can work from home. Dot. Me. Right now. And start working from home. Earn income as a virtual call center rep. From the comfort of your home. Grab your phone or device. Go online and type in. Who can work from home. Dot. Me. Get the ball rolling. Today. Again, that's who can work from home. Dot me, who can work from home. Dot me. That's all it takes to get started. Say it with me. Go online. Then say it to yourself. Who can work from home? Dot me. Who can work from home? Dot me. Hey y'all, it's Stephanie Stallworth. I don't know about you, but for me, we're here in the coronavirus pandemic. I've been thinking a lot about my health, a lot about weight loss. You know, you pick up those coronavirus pounds, a lot about vitality, well-being, uh, my performance and ability to uh, be at my best, and even ways to make money from home, right? So wealth creation, that's the whole thing as well. I got a website I want you to check out. It's stephaniestallworth.isogenics.com, stephaniestallworth.isogenics.com, and check it out. See if there's something on there for you to help your weight loss goals, your vitality, your well-being, your performance, or if you need a way to create some wealth for yourself. You can check all that out on my Isogenics program website. Be glad to see you there on the web. Join me as we journey to wellness. It's Isogenics the art of well-being.
wanted to invite you to be part of the flow. I'd love for you to send us your videos here. If you want to be part of the Monday Motivation Millennial Moment, you have a motivational uh, word for some folks out there, young folks, that's for you. And the rest of us, yeah, we're young too, but anyone else who has a good testimony, or something you'd like to share, send it to us on a video. Our email is theflowtelevision at gmail.com. Looking forward to having you join us on The Flow. We'll feature some of your videos on the show on Monday mornings. It's Stephanie Stallworth. You're in The Flow.